On today's video, we're knocking at Wagyu Steak and Eggs. Hey, if you love to grill and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Because on today's video, we're knocking out Wagyu Steak and Eggs. Now, I know this may be a little bit strange, but when we go to competitions, we just got back from the American Roll and everybody's out there cooking some sort of breakfast. Pancakes, uh, biscuits and gravy, you name it, steak and eggs. And uh, this got me to thinking, man, we got two beautiful cuts of meat right here. One probably most of you have never heard of, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't heard about it until here recently. This is a Denver cut, which comes from the center portion of the underblade and is one of the most tender, cuts of meat on a cow and this thing just hold it in my hands it feels like straight butter so that's what I figured we'd do we would make steak and eggs on the Weber all right so what we're gonna do here we're gonna season these up this is the way I love them you can use whatever you like salt pepper whatever you got at the house but this is just how I'm gonna season them we're gonna hit them with some cow cover and some Texas beef we're gonna cook them indirect on the Weber until they hit about 100, 105, somewhere in there. And then as soon as they do, we're gonna put them over the flame and just sear the balls off of them. Simultaneously, we're gonna be cooking hash browns direct um, until they get crispy. We'll pull them off, finish the steaks, and then cook the eggs last. And this is gonna be truly, truly amazing. Now, if you need to know any more about this Denver cut, just Google it. You're learning with me. But I can tell you right now, just by the feel of it, it's going to be amazing. So let's just jump right on into it. These are breakfast steaks. So I'm not going to get too awful. Man, these feel freaking amazing. Got to get these edges. Ooh, look at them suckers. That's what I'm talking about. Now, a little bit of Texas beef. This is what's gonna give you that super nice crust with the nice salt, pepper, garlic flavor. Hey, but before we get started, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. We got a giveaway going on this month that is insane. We're giving away a Hasty Bake and a ton of Cosmos products. So click that first link in the description if you want to. You don't have to. You don't gotta buy nothing. But if you want to get entered to win, click that first link in the description and sign up now. All right, so now let's get to cooking. are freaking they look amazing they smell amazing i wish you could smell that this is a can you smell it over there Wes? 
Yes, I can. Man, these things, they are ridiculous. So, man, hey, I'm just going to jump right in it. You can see my, my hash browns got a little bit doneer than what I like. Um, I like crispy hash browns, but not black hash browns, so I threw them little black suckers out of there. So let's just jump right in and try it. Oh, Lee, man, this thing's butter. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. that egg yolk running. Man, that is unfreaking believable. I love the way that Texas beef just comes in on that nice little char, that sweet salt pepper. Oh, it's amazing. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching, man. And as always, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.